Hello guys, this is Vaish and uh, today is the last uh, chapter uh, episode for class 6th NCRT, okay, Polity NCRT. We already done geography, history and uh, economics also is going on. So everything is completely free, but uh, most of the students are not making use of it. Okay, like if you see yesterday's uh, uh, videos, I have done four or five videos, but the students who are viewing it is very, very less. So if you are taking the exam seriously, you have to watch the foundation which is given and also watch these lectures. Okay, if you see here, Polity NCRT, Current Affairs, this is Geography Theory, Geography Maps, CSAT, and if you scroll down, there will be History, so sociology, economics, uh, uh, MCQs of every subject every day. Everything is completely free. Okay. So in case you are not using it and then depending on these uh, Telegram, PDF notes and other things, you are later going to regret. Okay. Because UPSC is something different and it is not uh, how you will clear through this uh, normal uh, PDF concept which these people are selling to you. Okay. It is of no use to you and you will later really regret for it. Okay. So the textbook, as I told, watch the previous eight uh, chapters and uh, this is chapter number nine. So as usual, I'll show you two previous year UPSC questions itself. So which of the following are associated with planning in India? The Finance Commission, the National Development Council, the Union Ministry of Rural Development, Union Ministry of Urban Development and the Parliament. Okay. So five, state, five options are given. And then here, UPSC 2012, how does the National Rural Livelihood Mission seek to improve livelihood options of rural poor by setting up a large number of new manufacturing industries and agribusiness centers in rural area, by strengthening self-help groups and providing skill development, by supplying seeds, fertilizers, diesel pump set and micro irrigation equipment free of cost for farmers. Okay, so this is a question, number, a question of 2014 and 12 and this has repeated again in uh, future years in a different format. Okay, the same question have repeated in a different form. Okay, so that is why these are important to you. And again, as I told, if you want to watch free lectures, go to YouTube and simply type this YCIA space and the textbook name. Okay, YCIA space NCRT polity or YCIA space sociology NCRT, history NCRT. Or if you want the other things like the main textbooks, Spectrum, uh, Tamil Nadu history, Nitin Singhania, Fine Arts NCRT, R.S. Sharma, Satish Chandra, polity or Shankaraya's environment, geography class 11th and 12th economics uh, lectures completely everything is free okay and mains also we have done but now because prelims is nearing i will ask you to focus more on the uh, prelims uh, things okay so these are the mains uh, the thing, uh, gs1 uh, post independence or indian society gs2 uh, the governance part or the gs3 science and tech gs4 ethics everything is free okay and the previous year questions of every single uh, thing okay and this is not what you get in other channels other channels simply tell you the question and answer i teach you how to solve similar questions when it come in future okay so this is the best in the internet right now so if you are missing out you are actually going to regret it after the, after the exam okay so this is the chapter 9 urban livelihood as you see here in the index this is the last chapter next we have to start class 7 but i need your like and comment okay now itself pause the video hit like and at least one comment okay like thank you or looking forward for class 7 anything you can comment okay but i need 100 likes and 100 comments else maybe i will not start class 7th and crt okay so please do that right now so urban livelihood you know in india there are thousands of towns and there are many big cities at least 30 big cities are there like example chennai mumbai delhi kolkata noida pune anything you take these are all big cities where the population wise also it is big and the uh, economy wise also it's big and people like to go and settle there for either job or any other purposes okay so there are millions of people living and working there and even Mumbai and all we tell city which never sleeps. Okay. So a large number of people in the city works on the street. You would have noticed whichever street you go, whichever urban city you go, there will be a lot of people selling things on the streets. Okay. Like in Ahmedabad survey, Gujarat, it was found that 12% of all the workers in the city where people working on the street. Okay, and they may not be even the native to that place. They would have come from somewhere else. And they sometimes sell things or repair them or provide a service also. They work on their own. They're not employed by anyone and therefore have to organize their own work also. Okay, meaning it's actually the unorganized sector. They are organizing themselves, everything. It's not organized by the government or there is no proper uh, model which everyone uh, commonly follow. Okay, everybody has a different format. So they have to plan how much to purchase as well as where and how to set up their shop. Their shops are usually temporary structures. You would have seen simply some uh, can was kind of something will be there which they can immediately uh, dismantle also okay so they can also use their own cart or simply a plastic sheet spread on the pavement okay so they can be asked by the police to dismantle also sometimes because it will be obstructing something there or maybe the police also may be corrupt and is thinking to take money from them okay they'll tell okay give me some money and then you can continue the shop okay so there are certain parts of the city where these hawkers they are also called hawkers are not vendors sell things that are often prepared at home by the families who purchase clean sort and make them ready to sell okay meaning they will make the products from their uh, house also okay and they will uh, sell it on the street okay you would have seen the snacks or any uh, if it is like new new uh, urban people are going and making this uh, uh, tea shops and maybe small uh, maybe rolls sandwich salads whatever they will be making all the base from the home itself and coming and here they will be just mixing it and giving it to you okay so that kind of things can happen in the uh, urban area okay 
so they are uh, sometimes uh, everyone are like these people are maybe having their own houses also but there are some people who are forced to sleep on the street itself okay they'll pay something to the corporation or someone and then will be sleeping on the street itself but it is dangerous for them also living and sleeping on the street so now again if you see there is in areas of uh, such cities you will see an area called labor chalk okay this is an ncrt picture labor chalk like daily wage workers they wait like this with their tools and everything and they are ready like anybody will come and tell like okay we need a painter we need a this thing we need some carpenter something so these people from here they will be picked and taken to work okay sometimes in bulk they'll be taken to some places or maybe individually also will be taken so this area is called labor chalk and this is given in your ncrt okay so there are almost one crore street vendors in the country working in urban areas okay so street vending was still recently looked upon only as an obstruction to traffic and to people walking okay but now you know the government and also many organizations is now recognizing it and understanding it's a benefit for the people because it will be cheaper compared to the big marts and big shops and all and it's a right to people to earn their livelihood okay so government is also changing laws and helping okay that i'll i have put two extra slides in this which is not part of ncrt just to make you learn certain things okay so i'll show you that so uh, here people can work and then uh, based on like okay this is uh, it will not obstruct the traffic or it will not cause uh, trouble to others some areas are also there it's hawking zones they call okay so hawking zones have been suggested for towns and cities where these people can set up their uh, business okay so people also to shop they will come there okay so it has also suggested that mobile vendors should be allowed to move around freely and hawkers need to be part of committees that are set up to take these other decisions meaning whenever they form committees the government or the township or anyone they should include these uh, some representation from these hawkers itself okay they should also be able to have a say in that so that uh, things are made uh, suitable to their requirements okay so this slide and the next slide is something which is a government scheme this is important and it is a new since last many years so this is not part of ncrt i don't have to do actually do it but because i want you to learn properly i am putting it here itself okay so pm swanidhi scheme is a scheme scheme which you know was announced as part of that economic stimulus package under the atmanirbhar bharat if you know covid time government announced at least five stimulus packages okay more than five actually in which uh, crores of uh, lakhs of crores of rupees were put uh, for uh, upliftment of the poor people and even now uh, ration free ration is going even after covid is almost gone uh, people are getting free ration from the government okay 80 crore people out of 140 crore people are getting free ration so like that many things were done under under the economic stimulus package so under that only this one of the scheme was there pm swanidhi scheme which is actually for the uh, street vendor okay this full form if you take it something like street vendor something okay so that one it is implemented since 1st june 2020 for providing affordable working capital loans to street vendors to resume their livelihood that have been adversely affected due to covid-19 lockdown okay because in lockdown time these were the people who got mostly affected because they work on daily wages suppose you tell lockdown and sit at home they cannot survive so go, go, banks will give working capital loans okay so that loans they can easily repay also it's not like immediately repay and if they repay on time also their complete interest i think will be uh, waived off okay so that kind of very uh, uh, brilliant scheme it was and it was appreciated appreciated by most of the people the scheme will open up new opportunities for street vendors to move up the economic ladder it is a central sector scheme meaning it is fully funded by the center by the ministry of housing and urban affairs with the following objectives to facilitate a working capital loan to incentivize regular payment to reward digital transactions okay so these are the uh, 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 this uh, aims objectives of this uh, particular uh, scheme so scheme is available for beneficiaries belonging to only those states and uts which has notified rules and schemes under street vendors protection of livelihood meaning this the state has to notify that th this rules in their state only that state will be allowed and also meghalaya kind of state and all which has their own act also they are also they can also participate okay so it's just uh, ask they are asking the center is asking the states to just notify the rules and uh, make it implemented okay the funding everything center will take care the scheme is available to all street vendors engaged in vending in urban areas earlier the scheme was available to all street vendors and is in vending on or before march 20 2020 meaning it was first made uh, in a, i think 22 it's okay okay 22 first it was only till uh, two years okay but now what has happened is it has been extended till 2024 that is one of the latest news also which happened recently so introduction up to th uh, uh, third loan of 50000 okay meaning in first uh, when they launched it it was like 10000 loan will be given then they told 20000 loan will be given now they are telling 50000 loan will be given so like that uh, the scheme has been made bigger okay and repayable as i told in tenure of one year you can do and timely or early repayment if you do uh, the 7% uh, per annum uh, whatever you have the sub this thing interest that will be like waived off subsidy will be given for that okay meaning government will take care of the interest you just have to pay the uh, capital okay so this uh, after this one more thing related to this is extension of that scheme that is they made something called swanidhi se samriddhi 
which is a component for all the beneficiaries of PM Swanidhi across the country. Meaning whoever is already using Swanidhi scheme and taking loans or they are waived off these things and all. Now it's not only about them. Their family also has to get all the benefits. As I told, they are all unorganized sector. They are not getting any government scheme benefits because they won't have other card, PAN card or many things, many problems will be there. So they, to make their uh, home better, there is a new component. Swanidhi say, Samridhi. Okay. So here what it happens is it's an additional program launched on in 2021 in 125 cities to map the socio-economic profile of the PM Swanidhi beneficiaries and their families. Meaning what is their uh, economic situation, who all are there in their family, etc. And the implementing person or partner is the Quality Council of India. It's a very important body. UPSC question came. Okay, because Prime Minister, I think, appoints the head of uh, this thing, uh, Quality Council of India. That's why it is important. So, it assesses beneficiaries uh, potentially available for various central welfare schemes and facilitates the linkages to these schemes. Meaning, we have a lot of schemes, right? The insurance schemes like Jeevan Jyoti, Suraksha Bhima, Jantan Yojana, Pradhan Mantri, Shram Yogi, Mandan Yojana. This all things which usually people have to apply with your Aadhaar card, this thing, that and all. So, to make these unorganized people also get organized and get all these schemes benefits, that is why this Samruddhi scheme was attached to this. Okay, so that you not only get the loans, you get all the benefits also from the government. So, those things all will come for pre free. And the loan which you get, you can actually use for your business alone. Okay, else, else with the loan, what you will do? You will use your personal other things and all and you will be waste all the money. Okay. So, twofold achievement, a central database is made because uh, you collect details of all the family members. And then second, first of its kind, inter-ministerial convergence platform is established between various central ministers to extend the safety net of welfare schemes to street vendor household. Okay. Meaning this, if you see, everything is a different ministry. So, it's an inter-ministerial convergence uh, first time, first of a kind uh, scheme for these people, for the street vendors people. Okay. So, that is the concept. So, these two, as I told, we have done extra effort for you just so that you learn. Okay. Now, shops in urban area. We till now told the street vendors. Now, there are shops also, right? People get the license and uh, this establishment act will be there. Shop X act will be there or will be a little more advanced like call centers will be there everywhere. Okay. You would have seen BPO, KPO, ITO. There are different things. Okay. So, all these things are different types of little advanced form which is there in the working type in the uh, urban areas itself. Okay. Call center, you know, in the last many decades, uh, this Congress government have been promoting this and we have been a very like master in IT services and selling. Okay. Not only Indian companies, we are also to foreign companies also because US people People, they don't waste their resources actually on taking calls. For that, they will feel like we'll go to Indians or Philippines or Chinese and all because they at cheaper rates will pick our calls. Okay. Lesser salary only need to give it given to them. So that is why Indians were like that. But now the new government is changing that actually because IT services alone, it's like you are actually not doing or not getting what you deserve. So that is why this government is more focused on tourism. Okay, they are telling that tourism is actually having hundredfold more uh, economy potential than the call center jobs. Okay, that you would have noticed now this uh, building statue after statue, building bridges, building road connectivity, heritage sites, tourism schemes and everything. Okay, they go up now, they, they are promoting even the cruise okay ganga cruise is there waterways are there because tourism can give you more money than this call center jobs okay and we are doing it in our own country and not serving other us people or something so that is why tourism will slowly replace the it services kind of job okay that you will see in the coming years so now shops in urban areas there are many people who own shops in various markets of the city these shops may be small or large and they sell different things most business persons manage their own shops or business they are not employed by anyone because they are morning coming and opening their own shop and they are paying the rent, the electricity bill, everything and they are dealing with their own business. Okay. But they do employ a number of other workers. Okay. You would have seen some other people get uh, like a helper job or something will be there in that uh, shop. Okay. And these are permanent shops given license to do business by the municipal corporation. Okay. Like in everywhere you will see like Delhi Shop and Establishment Act, like that acts will be there. So under that you get the license. So the municipal corporation also decides on which day of the week the market has to remain closed. Okay. Like you will see like this... Uh, uh, Mondays are closed or Wednesdays are closed. Something will be there depending on place to place. They will decide and that day it will be shut down. Okay. It need not be a Saturday or Sunday. Okay. So, the market also has small offices and shops that provide services such as banks, courier service and these call centers and all these things. So, this is the shops kind of concept. Now, the last slide is the difference between the casual jobs and the regular jobs. Okay. So, casual jobs, you know, example like a tailor in a export garment unit where you are going and doing a contract basis work or something. Any day they can throw you out of the job also. You would have seen this movie, Suidaga movie, you can go and see. Okay. Or it is like a regular job, marketing manager in a company. In NCRT, they are given like marketing manager of a biscuit company or something. Okay. Like the two examples they have given and various other things are there. In NCRT, it's like full of examples only, case studies. So, I have taken only the needed ones to explain you the concept. Okay. So, a normal working day begins at 9 a.m., finishes only by 10 p.m. 
and sometimes even later meaning it's there is no eight hour shift or six hour shift or anything they tell you work 16 hours you have to work 16 hours okay so they work for six days also only maybe sunday you will get a holiday okay that too if it's urgent work is there sunday also they will call you to office and pay will be just like 280 rupees a day for eight hours and then 100 extra for every hour or something or something like that working late they'll give you something okay so it will be anyway much much lower than a proper job uh, kind of salary and they are required to come as and when, when the employer needs them okay suddenly they will call you and tell okay come here it's urgent it's take tomorrow bulk order is there whatever they will be calling you they are employed when the employer gets large orders or during certain seasons okay because sometimes they will tell now it's wedding season we need lot of employees else they will tell there is no business at all you don't need to come to office we cannot give you money okay and at other times of the year they come to they have to find some other work as i told so these jobs are not permanent okay if workers complain about their pay or working condition they are asked to leave they will tell you go we have any other meaning we can get any other person to do this job we don't need you okay then there is no job security or protection if there is ill treatment okay like this movie is a very good example you can see this uh, movie okay then regular jobs get a regular salary every month and is permanent uh, is a permanent worker with the company okay that person is a permanent worker there job is to continue for a longer period of time okay you can fix it fix it salary you will get and there is savings also that uh, pension scheme or the uh, provident fund many things are gratuity many things are there so your salary is a part of the thing is like put with the uh, that uh, fund and government also will share some share and finally uh, later with the interest you can get it when you retire okay the like pf and gratuity is the thing which actually you get when you retire okay if it's government job and all you will get the pension kind of thing also for many years after that and uh, also there will be holidays on sunday national holiday then there is annual leave sick leave and maternity leave and there are many many benefits which you get then company pays the medical expenses like the medical insurance is also there for you also and certain family members also okay and she gets medical leave if she falls ill and her salary is not cut if she takes this leave unlike casual workers they will not be asked to leave if the factory does not have much work okay so that work and all is factory's headache it's a manager's headache so they go to office every day you have work or you don't have work end of the month you will definitely get the salary okay that is why people prefer a job okay if you are doing a startup this thing and all you have to maybe suffer losses for 2 years 3 years and all and after that maybe you will make profit but uh, this uh, job people definitely whatever you do you will get salary and if it's government job definitely you are going to get that is why all of you people are preparing also okay most of the people are not uh, preparing for upsc just to like change the country or make some impact and all everybody wants a safe job where you will get all the benefits all the other uh, uh, perks which the government give okay including the house including the vehicle including the electricity bill everything government takes care that is why most people run begin government job so everyone is not right when they tell uh, we want uh, to make an impact okay that is also one of the reasons only Well, now the answers to the two questions which we told in the starting which of the following are associated with planning in india so this if you see all the five obviously will do planning if you generally take the meaning of the word planning everybody has to plan something but upsc's answer key tells answer is 2 and 5 only that is the national development council and the Uh, parliament okay so these others and all rural is for specific rural work this is for urban work so it's not like planning in india in general the entire thing it is not there okay and finance commission you know it is just to distribute the money of the uh, taxes from the between the center and the states and other things okay so other things alone i'm not explaining national development council maybe you don't know that that alone i put it here okay and in my 2016 playlist you can go and watch there i have already explained so it is presided over by the prime minister it is an executive body established in 1952 it is neither constitutional nor statutory it is an apex body to take decisions on matters related to approval of five year plans of the country the council has been proposed to be abolished so this that time it, this was major thing now niti ayog is there so that does all the works okay there is no planning commission there is no this kind of thing okay niti ayog takes care of everything so here answer is 2 and 5 in case upsc repeats okay you should remember these are not the ones you have to select for planning now question uh, 2012 national rural livelihood mission okay so here they are asking what they do to improve the livelihood so answer is actually two only they are strengthening the self help group and providing skill development okay This scheme was launched in 2011 by Manmohan Singh. It's a poverty elevation project under the Ministry of Rural Development. The basic idea behind the program is to organize the poor into self-help groups and make them capable of self-employment. Okay, so this and all, but actually was not working because they did not implement it properly. That is why this government is taking it and renaming it and putting more and more uh, things into it. Okay, so the mission of NRM to produce poverty by enabling poor. and giving them self employment all these things and this and all now is under succeeded by deen dayal antyodaya yojana okay this is also there then this stand up india start up india all these things when you mix it it will help in the livelihood of these people okay so this is the 2012 question answer is two only this manufacturing industries is different than giving all these things for free that is also different or wrong so it doesn't apply to this question okay so answer is two only so as i told please give like and comment only then maybe we will start the 
next chapter uh, sorry the next class that is class 7 chapter 1 okay and get me uh, get the foundation by sending a hi to this number so thank you and have a nice day